You, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey, how's it going, y'all? I hope everybody's doing just delightful. So today is the 14th of October, 2024, and this is going to be a talk about nothing and a little bit about something. Okay, so... um. What I wanted to talk about is a couple different things, and I'm going to try to make this pretty quick if I can. Sometimes I say that, and then I end up talking for hours, but I'd like to get this out early this morning in hopes that somehow some of you end-time angels, persecuted angels, um, will be able to respond to what I'm about to ask y'all. And that is, is everything and everyone around you synchronized with whatever you're doing? Okay? This sounds insane. If you are not truly targeted, click off this video. Because it's not going to make any sense to you. It's going to sound preposterous. Hey, that's a big word. But if you are truly chosen by the Most High God, hated by the world, you're probably noticing this. So I've been wanting to talk about this for a few months, but um, wasn't able to get online up until recently. And then, you know, there's so many other things going on in the world. I honestly felt kind of guilty about even talking about this because it sounds like I'm focused on me, 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 what's happening to me, right? Instead of what's going on with the world. But this is what's going on with the world, okay? So I have, I have been aware that I was targeted since 2012, but I knew something was afoot at the Circle K, haha, since really 2008, but I knew... The world was not right way back when I was a child, and I never fit in, was always outcast, blah, 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 right? Knew this was a bogus system from the very beginning. Never wanted to go to college, never voted, never been married, never had kids, never owned anything, you know, whatever. But I would have liked to own a house, but they will not allow me to. So I got that going for me. But the whole point is, Father allowed that to keep me, I believe, from owning anything that's of this world because we are not of this world. Our mansions are in heaven. And I told Father many times, you know, from being homeless off and on for years and years, Lord, I don't need a mansion. What would I do with it? I have no use for it. Just give me a shack in the back. I'll be so happy as long as I'm with you. I'm in heaven and away from this stanky place we call earth right and I said I'll be homeless in heaven any day right but father said no we have a mansion prepared for us okay and he's going to pour us out a blessing you end time targeted angels that we cannot contain but getting back to this question that I'm trying to ask y'all but there's so many things going on right now all right so I have had noise harassment my entire life, or basically since I graduated high school and moved out, you know, from my parents' house. As you can hear right now, they're revving their engine. This is nothing new, okay? They will construct new construction wherever I go. It doesn't matter if I'm in the hood, or if I'm in a nice area, if I'm in an apartment, if I'm in a, uh, what do you call it? A house, a rented room, a hotel, whatever. It happens every single time. And they will go to the extent they're doing right now, today and yesterday, all throughout the weekend even, to jackhammer underneath my window, okay? Or outside my door, whatever it is. If I'm upstairs, they do it under the window. If I'm, you know, on street level, they're doing it right now. They're setting up their crew right now um, to jackhammer the street they desperately try to make noise morning noon and night okay that's nothing new I go to a park uh, Jethro and Cletus pop out of the bushes with their leaf blowers okay 
it's constant noise, morning, noon, and night. And Father has showed me that's to lower our vibration because we resonate at a very high level. And they are bottom feeders. They resonate low. What is below our feet? The pit. What does it say in scripture? And our enemies will be made our footstool. And we have been given the power to trample over snakes and scorpions. Trample meaning step on, squish, annihilate, and they stink. Hear the hammering? They're getting ready, y'all, getting ready. But um, it doesn't matter if it's 3 in the morning, 5 in the morning. They've always got some sort of noise. They like to do the beep, beep, beep with the backup lights on trucks parked right in front of my door. And uh, honk horns, slam car doors, and scream and yell and do all these clown shows because that's the satanic clown posse, I call them. You know, the robots, Satan's robots. But my question to y'all is, now that how long have I talked? I don't know because it's not showing on here. I'm new to, be, to being able to share a screen, so... That's been a huge blessing, and Father allowed me to do that after eight years, almost to the day this past week, to be able to screen share with y'all. That's also showing how late this is. We are almost at the end of the end, so Father's allowing this to get out. But just a day in the life of me, this is just the first hour of me waking up. Tell me if this happens to y'all. So I've noticed... You know, when I walk out my door, a garbage truck will drive by or somebody will walk out and throw one little piece of trash and stare at me. This has been going on forever. Uh, take a broom and pop out of the bushes trying to sweep by my feet. Even following me around in the grocery to sweep next to my feet. And Father showed me years ago that that symbolized that we're trash and we need to be disposed of, right? Um, pest control follows me around or parks outside my house or my uh, hotel room, or my rented room, wherever, okay? Even if I'm sleeping outside, they'll show up, and that's the signal that we're pests and we need to be exterminated. Everything is some sort of um, a sign to the criminal cabal, but we with eyes to see and ears to hear know what they're trying to insinuate, right? But anyway, getting back to this. So none of this is new. You can hear them hammering right now at 9 in the morning. Um, they will use skill saws on the other side of my bedroom every single day. Just, just bizarre things. And this is every day. This is nothing new. However, what is new is this phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. So... I've been testing this for the past week to see how they're doing this, all right? So garbage trucks synchronize with me when I come or go. They'll drive right by my door. If I'm in a hotel room, they'll be in the parking lot waiting, okay? And it's at different times. This can be 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Whatever time I get up, a garbage truck passes by and they stop right in front of my door or you know if I'm upstairs my underneath my window and they go real loud and slam trash cans when I walk out they drive right past and they will pass up all the trash cans down the street just to get in front of me and then jump out and they wear red by the way jump out like the bush nazis that I call them and grab trash cans right in front of me and just slam, 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 okay? But here's the creepy thing. So I'm like, okay, I get it. They know when I'm opening the door or whatever and they're waiting. But how in the heck are they there outside my door when I don't even turn the light on when I get up? And I will get up to either Father will, you know, call me to get up, go into warfare, or... You know, I may just have to get up to use the restroom or I may get up for the day. This can be any time, any time, morning, noon, not night, because obviously I'm not sleeping in the day, but, you know, early, early in the morning, all the way up till 9 or 10 would be the latest that I ever get up. And that's very rare because of all the noise harassment, right? Long story short, too late, Lena. 
So this past week I thought, well, I won't go to the bathroom and see if maybe the flushing triggers it, you know, the noise of the flushing. I won't get out of the bed. I'll just open my eyes or I won't turn on the light. It, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. They show up every single time. Also, cops synchronize with me. When I come or go, they're usually there eight out of ten times. When I go to the grocery, mailmen show up, okay? Remember that song, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Even the mailman's watching me. This is not a joke, y'all. This is bizarre. So I will go into the grocery, and this is any time of day. This can be at nine at night, okay? Or early in the morning, early in the morning, and a mailman will show up and walk right past me. Also, cops, sheriffs, they will come in when I'm leaving the grocery or they will follow me in when I'm going into the grocery. And they're not the ones that are there to guard the grocery, right? These are other characters. It's bizarro land. We are living in bizarro world. So my whole point is, are y'all noticing this? Because it's just getting so creepy. And yes, I know these gang stalkers, a lot of them are robots. A lot of them are completely demon possessed. But to be able to get a garbage truck, those are pretty heavy vehicles, right? To synchronize also for years and years, Anytime I go to a crosswalk, anytime, there will be a black SUV cross my path every single day. And if I go to 20, because I have to walk everywhere, so you can imagine the amount of schoolyard bullies, aka gang stalkers, that surround you when you have to walk. Every crosswalk is a black SUV, one after another after another, and it reminds me again of the Truman Show how the same cars rotate around. But these are different vehicles in different cities, but they're always black SUVs. But the garbage truck thing is just going above and beyond. So again, this will be two in the morning, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't matter. They show up and I don't have to turn the light on. I don't even have to get out of the bed. Also, when I go to the window in the mornings to open the curtain, a cop drives by. What in the heck? And it sounds like I'm prideful and this is all about me. No, it's not. There is something very sinister and creepy going on. And the only thing I've been praying to Father to show me exactly what this is. How are they doing this? And the only download or revelation that I've got so far is that we are the only true angels, angelic beings on this earth, okay? We are the only ones that have Yeshua's bloodline that are connected directly to Father. That's why there's so many swarming against us. That's why we stick out so bad. I try to dress down. I wear plain clothes. I put my hair in a ponytail. I try not to blend in. It doesn't matter. Every time I walk anywhere, people stare at me. Every day about every other person, sometimes every person points at me with their mouth open some of the time. Like the movie Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It also reminds me of the movie They Live. And again, what I believe that it is, I have not got 100% confirmation on here. So I'm asking my true brothers and sisters, angels on the front lines for Jesus Christ, of your thoughts on this. Um... Are we the only ones that have not corrupted our DNA? Hey, Richie, sit on it. And so now that they've hooked up the 5G, 6G, 7G, every single other being on this earth is now connected to the grid, a.k.a. the matrix. So they're locked into the system. So they're all synchronized. So everything revolves around one of us. And there's only 144,000 of us scattered throughout the earth. So, of course, there's going to be entire communities against one of us. 
Could that be it? I don't know. Your thoughts. Now for this picture. So this is Pegasus, okay? This is a statue that popped up when I just typed in Pegasus statue. This popped up. And this is going to be real quick because I really wanted to talk about what y'all are seeing or y'all noticing this weirdness. But um, I have been given multiple dreams of me riding a Pegasus horse for years and years. And one of my favorite dreams, um, I believe I'm in the Garden of Eden with this horse. I, I'm in the sea. I come up out of the sea where I see Satan down in the sea. He's locked under a sea of glass. And when he sees me, he tries to reach his hand up. And he's got hooves. He's half man, half human, okay? And he's, it's Satan. He has horns. And he tries to grab me, but he can't. The sea of glass protected me. So that to me meant the firmament, the waters below and the waters above, right? And I fly up into the air, and then I'm scaling this wall, this old um, rock wall that looks like the wall, the same kind of rocks as the wall in Israel, right? The Wailing Wall. And when I get to the top, it's all beautiful green, lush grass and beautiful bright colored flowers, colors like neon colors and things we don't have here on this earth. And Pegasus comes down and he lands. And I said, Pegasus, it's me. It's me. It always makes me cry. I don't know why. I think this really was my horse in heaven, y'all. Because it moves me every time. And it, this dream was over a year and a half ago, I think. The last one that was this dream. I had one more about Pegasus coming, but I didn't say that in it. And I said, it's me, it's me. Like, he was my best friend. And he came and he bowed down with one knee down, like bent down. The horse with wings bent down, it was white, and I got on it, and we flew up, and I've had multiple dreams like that. If Pegasus was not a real horse, why do they have all these statues everywhere, okay? And these are very, very old, a lot of them, and they're all over the world. I did not know this till I just typed in Pegasus because I wanted to put this picture for y'all to look at while I'm talking. Okay, then this popped up. So I asked Father, where, where is Pegasus? Is there a Pegasus with an angel riding a Pegasus? Anywhere in the U.S.? And guess where it is? <clears throat> Hollandale Beach, Florida. I said, that sounds familiar. I think it's by Miami. So sure enough, I typed in Miami. It's right by Miami. It's like, uh, let's see. 20 miles from Miami, Hollandale Beach has the largest, well, it's got the second largest statue in all of Mystery Babylon, a.k.a. America. But it's one of the largest Pegasus statues, okay? And look how close it is to Mar-a-Lago, where the T-Man, Trumpster, the last Trump sounds, look how close it is to Mar-a-Lago. Let's see. 55, I can't try, 55, 53 minutes, okay? And Florida, Father has showed me, is going to be underwater. I believe it's going underwater right now. And they're taking it out as well. But Father had showed me that the where the Bermuda Triangle is, which is off the coast here. Let's see where Bermuda Triangle is. Bermuda Triangle, right here. This is where the Bermuda Triangle is, okay? See? Father has showed me many times that this is some sort of a portal right here. And remember, I had the dream about I was down in the ocean and I came up. Satan couldn't touch me. He was locked in the sea of glass. And then I went to the Garden of Eden. And Pegasus came down. This is all starting to fit together. This is where the ships will disappear. And airplanes or airplanes will have laps of time. There's something hidden here, y'all. 
and I believe it's about to be revealed. Father, show me that Florida will be underwater completely from Gainesville all the way down. The Keys will be no more. You can't even see the Keys in here where I lived in Key West, I mean Key West for many, many years. I've, I've lived in several places in Florida. But Father showed me from here down, Gainesville down. Also, St. Augustine, something is very strange in St. Augustine. I've been there three times and warned people to repent and turn to Jesus. I've been to the Tampa area to tell people to repent and turn to Jesus. I've been to St. Petersburg where I lived aboard my boat. Amazing grace that came with that name. And warned people to repent. They did all kinds of evil and witchcraft, including stealing my boat from me, doing a lot of wicked things, raping me, torturing my little dog, Beignet. I've been all over the all over Florida. I've been to Orlando. The last time was just last year, warning them to repent. Of course, nobody believed me. They're thinking, well, Orlando's not going to be underwater because it's in the middle. It doesn't matter. It's going under. Okay, Father has showed me that, and he showed me that when all this land goes underwater, there's going to be other parts of land that are underwater now that are going to come up out of the water. Could that be why I'm being shown this right now? That this possibly could have some connection with the Garden of Eden. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. But getting back to... Um, the Pegasus statue, the second largest statue in Mystery Babylon, America. And I wish I would have known about this statue. Okay? It's in Hollandale Beach, which is right past Miami. Go into Miami. So this is what just popped up. I'll just share a little bit because I don't want to get a copyright. This is it. This is the statue. dragon under his feet and remember satan was under me under the sea of glass below my feet we're being anointed with these powers i believe that some of all us were back here during the first battle and the second battle and this is the final countdown the final battle i just found this very very bizarre it's called Pegasus and the Dragon, and it goes right along with my dream. So, y'all, we are being anointed from on high. They hacked my phone this morning. Um, this phone is only a few weeks old. They hacked it. It said you're now attached to some, I, I can't remember what it was called, some app that I didn't download. They did it while I was asleep. Um, I'm being attacked in my sleep. Uh, I was battling not only witches, but demons in my sleep. They tried to bite me. I have a bike bite mark on my neck, y'all. This is for real. I said, Father, I'm protected by you. He said, you've got to go into more war warfare right now because this is their satanic month. And it was interesting. It started on the 13th when I was being heavily attacked, which was yesterday, which is 31 backwards. Halloween backwards, Satan's day, right? This whole month from yesterday through the end of the month, they are abducting people, pets, children, babies, whatever. So just be aware and stay in prayer. And we have the Holy Spirit. They can't take us out, but they can, you know, if there's enough of them. And of course, they're pansies. They're wicked cowards. So they attack us while we're asleep. That's why Father's saying that, you know, they can still have some effect, not to the extent like they wanted to do, okay? And I prayed on it, and Father's got my back, Jack. No, nothing happened. 
if you're being attacked like this, some people have even gotten scratched by demons in their sleep. Um, any kind of bites or things, when you wake up, you pray against it, you anoint it with anointing oil, and you, you, you say a prayer, whatever Father leads you to, something like, you know, that whatever evil deposits were put into me will now work for my good and have been spiritually regurgitated. All evil effects have been spiritually regurgitated in Jesus' name, something like that. It doesn't have to be word for word. Whatever Father tells you, if you have the Holy Spirit, he's going to direct you into what to say. If you don't, but you believe in Jesus Christ, okay, you're still protected. But just know that these things are real, and these things are going to be seen, okay? I've told you all, the serpent mound, which I know there's one in Ohio, serpent mound. Adams County, Ohio, the Adams family, that is a real snake. It was encapsulated into the earth when Father flooded the earth. This time it's going to be with what? Fire, fire, fire in the hole. Interesting, the fire-breathing dragon, right? The fire-breathing dragon. But we have overcome. We have trampled over snakes and scorpions, and nothing in any means shall harm us. But you have to be in full warfare. Father says, pray morning, noon, and night, okay? And that's what's going on. So you're going to be seeing these things coming to earth. Remember it says, men's hearts shall fail them for fear. Let me find that scripture. Luke. Luke. I am your father. Men starts failing them for fear and looking after those things which are coming on the earth or the powers of heaven shall be shaken. This is the great shaking. This is the unearthing. Everything that was hidden is being brought to the light. So these serpents, these giants, these dragons, they are going to be seen, okay? There's fireballs that are going to be falling from the sky. Those are the fallen being cast down. They were in chains in the firmament. They're being cast down. Also, they're being unearthed, okay? Hold on a minute. Oh, never mind. I can't show y'all. I was going to show y'all something, but I can't. I don't know how to switch it back on to the regular screen. But anyway, if these things were not real, they wouldn't have all these statues out about it, okay? So, I just wanted to tell y'all the attacks are horrendous. And again, this is Satan's month and especially the next two weeks, okay? Through November 2nd. Um, so be in warfare, be in prayer and pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ, including me. Please pray for me, y'all. I'm under heavy, heavy attack. They hacked my phone. It said I'm now, uh, my location is now being broadcast. Somebody had access to my controls of my laptop. Um, they came in, I went for a walk this morning, and they had bit, already been in my room, tampered with something, I'm sure they did some witchcraft in here, um, they poisoned my food, uh, that did not affect me, Father protected me from that, but he warned me, but still, it's costly to keep having to buy food, you know, because I, you know, will go and get one thing a day, sometimes two things a day, right? and have to throw it out half the time. So they're really attacking um, just a lot of witchcraft. Um, they have surrounded where I'm at. They are, it's just, it's bizarre is what I'm gonna say. So we need to stay in where? We need to stay aware and be in prayer and don't be as scared. But if y'all know, or if y'all didn't know, my thumbnail is Will Ferrell, okay? My thumbnail of this channel. And he's making a nasty face. And the reason why I picked that thumbnail is because I feel like him. Ever since I first watched this movie, Elf, which Elf symbolized demons, all right? Santa symbolizes Satan, right? And he is an outcast. He's adopted just like me. He never fit in, literally. He towered over all the elves, right? And he didn't you know, do what they did. He wasn't a bot. And he was made fun of and 
left out, and then he goes to New York. New York, get a rope, right? And he's fi- he tries to find his adoptive dad, and he does, and, you know, he's mocked and laughed at. And all he, all Will Ferrell in the movie, Buddy the Elf, my buddy and me, all he wanted to do was make people laugh and, and love, right? And that's what we targeted angels want to do, but they don't allow it. They, they hate us for no reason other than whose we are and who sent us because they love the lie more than the truth. So they were given over to a strong delusion. So they live a lie. So the whole point is, in the movie, this father just reminded me of this, Talk about yourselves. Let me see. In the movie, Buddy has a snow globe and it's not going to show it. Hold on. Well, it's not going to show it. It's in the movie somewhere. Oh, maybe this is it. He's what? What is? I I just randomly picked this, y'all. I've never seen this. I've seen the movie, but I've never seen this clip. Buddy in New York. Where is he? Wow. Maybe I need to watch this movie again. I haven't seen it in years. He's in the wilderness going down a what? Narrow road. Look, and there's the bus. And y'all, night before last, so the, the 12th, I had a dream. I was on a bus, and I was going up on a bus. And then a few days before that, I had a dream. I was going to a streetcar, which they have streetcars in New Orleans and San Francisco and some other cities. And as I'm getting to where you wait, like a platform area, a whole mob crowded me. And uh, right at the end, all of a sudden, the streetcar appears, and I didn't see it coming, and I got on board. And the lady, it was a a black lady, maybe mid-50s conductor, said, you made it just in time. And then we went off, and the mob couldn't get on. It was only me. I believe that's symbolic of us leaving. That's interesting, they're showing this. I didn't remember this part. A subway. Look, look at that. The sun, we go through the sun. The sun is a portal escaping, right? They're, what do you call that? Like they're a a blisk, oblosk? I can't say it. (laughs) Y'all know what I'm saying. What does this say? world's largest cup of coffee even that's significant the couple that one was taken and the other one left remember one will be grinding at the meal the mill and the other one left and that was in Asheville their last name was coffee right vaguely everybody calm down and get a cup of coffee let me see I don't see where it is well, in the movie, I'm, wa- I'm wasting too much time. He gets a snow globe, and he shakes it. Shake it up. And it's basically what we're in. We're in the globe, right? And Father said we're being freed from the, from the firmament. I- I'm sorry, I can't find that part, but y'all can obviously see it was in there because they keep showing secret snow elf on the shelf. Surprise, it's from Buddy the Elf. But again, he just wanted to make people laugh and have fun and love everybody. And the Matrix doesn't want that. They want bots. So because the bots sold out, they are not their true self. So they don't have love in their heart. So the whole point is, I chose that picture of him making this. I called the stink face because it stinks. They live a lie. So they're locked in the matrix, and we're being freed, so we're going out the firmament. So Satan in the movie Elf represents, I mean, Santa in the movie Elf 
represent Satan. Switch the name around. All y'all know that on this channel. And the elves represent demons, but he's not. He sticks out. He's not actually an elf. He didn't belong there. He was adopted, okay? Which some of us, like me, were adopted. Who knows? Maybe we were stolen at birth. I mean, nothing shocks me anymore, especially with who adopted me. But we'll just leave it at that because I did, I did love them, and I, I pray they made it. I pray they repented, even if it was on their deathbed. So here's Buddy the Elf, and this is why I picked this, because he's talking to Santa, but it's actually Satan. So these are our gang stalkers. They live a lie because they are not being true to who Father created them to be. That's why they have to do clown shows all day. They're liars, and they work for who? The father of lies. Christmas. Don't tell him what you want. He's a liar. Let the kid talk. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? <laughs> Just cool it, Zippy. You sit on a throne of lies. Look, <laughs> I'm not kidding. You're a fake. I'm a fake? Yes. How'd you like to be dead? Huh? They're the walking dead, y'all. <laughs> He's kidding. You stink. I think you're gonna have a good Christmas, all right? You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> An imposter, y'all. That's what those that don't love the truth are. They're imposters. They're not being true to their self or true to their creator. The, fa the Most High God, the Father, our Father who art in heaven. Yeshua is coming back any day. It's just getting to be so bizarre and clownish that there's no way that this is going to go on much longer so look up our redemption draws nigh